I just screwed a thousand dollars worth of solar panels vertically on the side of my house. Am I crazy for doing that? Definitely, probably not. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. Here at our place, we've been adding a lot more solar collection capacity and solar energy storage capacity. The house started off with 6,000 watts of panels on the roof and a 10 kilowatt hour battery. And recently I've added seven kilowatt hours to the battery storage. And just yesterday I added these four panels, one here, one there, and two on the other side of the window run, uh, which adds up to another 1,200 uh, what? 1,200 watts. I, it, I start talking numbers. I, I, I start Joe Bidening everywhere. Uh, 1,200 watts of solar collection capacity here on the front of the house. And in this video, primarily what I want to talk about is why did I put these vertical on the front of the house? Usually when you put solar panels, you have them generally kind of facing upwards. Is this a crazy idea? Is it working? And, uh, you know, what are the thoughts behind this? First off, the reason that I put them here is... Well, there's two reasons. One is I thought they look really snappy right here. Ever since I built the house, there were these big gaps between uh, the windows. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice to kind of fill that in with something? And it just seemed like the perfect place for them. But that's not the only reason. It's not just the aesthetics that I put it here. Uh, the other reason is that the sun isn't always up in this, like straight up in the sky. You know, depending on the time of year and time of day, the sun can be coming in at kind of uh, a lower angle. Right now, at the time of this recording, we're right after the summer solstice. And the summer solstice here uh, in my area has the sun almost at a position where it's straight up in the sky, which would make these really lousy at that time of day when the sun is at like high noon around the solar solstice. They're not gonna get a lot, but at the time of this recording, it's 9.30 in the morning. Uh, that's solar time, not, uh, we do day it's crazy daylight savings time. It's 10.30, but it's solar, it's about 9.30 in the morning. And the sun's coming in at about this angle and they're getting quite a bit of sun. Also in the winter time, uh, the sun, even at its peak is probably lower than it is right now, uh, you know, off to the south over here. So in the winter time, when I may have snow collecting up on the panels up on the roof, these panels are never gonna get snow caked all over them and I'm gonna be able to be getting re really great winter sun hitting these panels. Now I mentioned that there is about uh, 1200 watts of uh, capacity here. Uh, each one of these is like 300 and something odd uh, watts and it all adds up to about 1200 watts of capacity. Now whenever you have like say a 100 watt solar panel and you put that out in the sun, you're never gonna get exactly 100 watts. I don't know where the 100 watts come from, maybe it like, like absolute zero out in space without any atmosphere between you and the sun and the, the panels work better when they're cold you know maybe under those conditions that's when you get the 100 watts you never actually really get the um you know, the, the full uh you know listed number out of your battery uh recently i was testing out a 600 watt uh solar panel in full sun facing right at the sun and the best i was really getting was like maybe 400 maybe a little bit more out of it so you're always losing like you know somewhere around like 20 25 percent maybe 30 percent depending on yeah, atmospheric conditions whether there's a little bit of clouds whether there's haze in the sky you know what your uh altitude is you know so there are all those sorts of variables so i was pretty pleased when i just finished hooking all these guys up, remember 1200 watts, stabbed them into the system that is collecting the energy from this, and I was seeing I was getting a really good solid 600 watts out of these, uh, which I'm really pleased with. Now, that, that sounds like, well, you're only getting 50% of your capacity, but uh, I've got the versatility of these uh, aiming at a lower direction when the other panels might be covered in snow. These are still gonna be getting some energy, so uh, you know I have that kind of a benefit there. Additionally, like I said, I think they look really smart and snappy on the side of the house. And also, it was a lot easier installation putting them on the side of the house like this. It would have cost a lot more money if I had to build kind of a scaffold. I ran out of roof space, so I couldn't put them up on the roof. So uh, just taking advantage of the area that I did have now granted if I have these at a little bit more of a angle they'd be getting a little bit more uh, energy at the moment but I'd be throwing away those benefits of them not crusting up with snow it would have been a lot more uh, difficult of an install and I'm just happy at this 600 plus watts that I'm pulling in right now and certainly in the dead of winter when my roof is all covered up in snow I'm gonna be really happy to have at least 1200 watts going into the house. So I have a little bit more discretion in terms of like, ah, do I really wanna go out to, right now and uh, you know, shovel uh, the snow off of my roof? Cause that's definitely a thing. If you live in an area where there is snow and you have panels at any kind of an angle, when you get like freezing rain and then snow falls on it, they still always get crusted up. You know, the roof is a great place for solar panels cause they're up and out of the way and it's unused real estate otherwise, but it's a real pain in the butt whenever there is any kind of a snow situation. 
So I appreciate having these for that reason as well. So if you're thinking about putting up solar panels, don't worry so much whether you have the ideal situation. This is not, under many circumstances, the ideal situation. Certainly in the winter when there's snow everywhere, it's a pretty darn ideal situation. But whatever your situation is, you could always try to fit these things into, uh, you know, whatever kind of uh, real estate that you have. And I know there's a lot of people out there that just think, you know, solar doesn't work for me because I don't have this ideal situation. I don't live in the middle of New Mexico with no trees, et cetera, et cetera. It doesn't have to be ideal for you to get something pretty darn good. And I'm really happy that right now my EcoFlow Delta Pro 2 uh, unit that I've got inside, instead of doing the regular trickle charge that I have it on of 600 watts, right now it's pulling in 1200 watts and it's gonna charge up all that much faster. That's it, thanks for watching. Hey YouTube preppers, if you enjoyed this video, here's another that I think you might like. But before you click on it, I wanted to take a moment to thank all the people you see on the right hand side of your screen. They help to support all the work that I do here over at patreon.com. If you'd like to join them and get your name added to the list, the link's below.